Hello, I am Reverend Dr. LaShante Walker. Welcome my fellow youth leaders to RH Boyd's Vacation Bible School. This year's inspiring theme is Claim Your Crown. The passage of scripture for this year's theme is 2 Timothy, the first chapter, fifth through the ninth verses. These VBS lessons are designed to inspire students to praise God through leadership. In the theme scripture focus, Paul challenges Timothy, a young man, to stand strong in his belief in God. Like Timothy, students will be invited to go on a spiritual journey as a Christian to seek and find the path that will lead them to God's promises. Ultimately, this incredible journey will teach students how to claim the crown that is waiting for them when they learn how to be a model leader, doing the right thing even in times of crisis and praising God through it all. This results in a shift from bearing a cross to wearing a crown. Lesson one, a model for leadership. The scripture focus is 2 Timothy, second chapter, fifth through the ninth verses. In this lesson, we learn that being a leader requires obedience, perseverance, and faithfulness. There is no crown without commitment. There will be sweat, tears, and many hours spent when you are loyal to your call to leadership. For example, just as you would spend time and energy practicing as an athlete to reach the goal of being the best, you will be faced with hardship and difficulties that will call for the drive to keep going to successfully meet your goals as a leader. Ask students to share a time when they have claimed their crown by serving as a model leader. Explain to students that there is power by taking a stand against wrongdoing and injustices in the world around you. A great example to use as a topic of discussion is Colin Kaepernick. In 2016, Kaepernick, then playing for the San Francisco 49ers, used his platform as a professional athlete to address the racial injustices experienced by young black men and women kneeling during the national anthem at NFL games. Lesson two, leadership in crisis. The scripture focus is Esther chapters four through six. In this lesson, Queen Esther teaches us that there is a responsibility that comes with being a leader. She was very young and had only served in her position as queen for a short time. Yet her position came with the call to be courageous in a time of crisis. As Christians, the crowns we have been called to wear require us to serve others. Service to others can sometimes be difficult, but the reward is that many people can be helped because of our personal sacrifice. Give a summary of the actions Esther took to prepare for her courageous act of meeting with the king to help save her people, the Jewish community. Share insight on the significance of Esther developing a strategy before taking action. Ask students to share various crisis situations they have endured or witnessed. Lesson three, do the right thing. Scripture focus, 2 Kings chapters 22 through 23. In this lesson, we learn that Josiah became a leader, king, at eight years old, a very, very early age. Although King Josiah was young and did not have many years of experience and training prior to becoming king, he did the right thing and faithfully served God. Josiah is an example to us all that regardless of your age, training, or background, we have the capacity to serve as leaders and we can choose to do the right thing. Ask your students to describe how they feel when they do the right thing. Encourage them to share examples of when they have done the right thing in everyday life. Challenge students to develop ways to help encourage others to do the right thing. Invite them to create a personal do the right thing list to help use as a guide to bring change to their local community. Lesson four, leadership through praise. The scripture focus, Exodus, the 15th chapter, the 20th through the 21st verse. Miriam was a prophet who also happened to be the sister of Moses. Miriam was not afraid to speak up or help lead the way. Miriam's leadership through praise teaches us how to celebrate the power of God. We can demonstrate our praise through dancing, singing, and telling our own story about God's greatness. Summarize the events from this passage in Exodus that led to this leadership through Miriam's moment of praise. Ask students to share their favorite way of praising God. 
Share a song of praise with students. A song like Every Praise by Hezekiah Walker would be a great to share with the class. Invite students to sing along, clap, or play instruments such as a tambourine, bongos, or rhythm sticks to praise God like Miriam and the other women did when crossing the Red Sea. Lesson five, from bearing a cross to wearing a crown. The scripture focus, Philippians, the second chapter, the fifth through the 11th verses. This lesson teaches us that leadership requires humility and obedience. Jesus sacrificed his life so that in the entire world could have eternal life. As a result of this ultimate sacrifice, Jesus was exalted by God. Jesus teaches us that bearing a cross temporarily results in wearing a crown eternally. Leave students in a discussion using the keywords provided for the lesson, service, humility, and love. Ask students to focus on at least one of the words and describe what the words mean to them. Invite students to share how they demonstrate one or more of these leadership characteristics at home, school, or at church. Defining the key words found in each lesson for your students will help to support the principles learned. It will help create discussion on the lesson to ensure students understand how to apply the principles of each lesson to their everyday lives. You can incorporate the characters into your lesson plan to help highlight the topic for each session. Diggs is a character who is the same age group as our youth learners. Diggs loves technology. He is a also a collector, an inventor, and an athlete. People at Diggs Church tell him he will be famous one day, but his mom's advice to him is to trust Jesus to guide him in the right way. Diggs is going to help me introduce some key words that he uses as a reminder to help guide him in the right way. Day one's word is zeal. The definition of zeal is great energy or enthusiasm in pursuit of a cause or an objective. Day two's word is courage. The definition of courage is the ability to demonstrate strength in the face of pain, grief, and fear. Day three's word is determination. Determination's definition is the firmness of purpose, having the strength of will and exhibiting boldness, being persistent and brave. Day four's word is praise. The definition of praise is the expression of approval or admiration for someone or something. Day's five word is service. The definition of service is the action of helping or doing work for someone. Each lesson includes the following, a review, Bible trivia, get real, and serious issue sections. Each of these sections help reinforce the lesson through discussion and activities. Be sure to encourage students to utilize the Leadership Journal as an additional resource to help foster meaningful reflection on the principles learned through the study of scriptures for each lesson. Imagine the takeaways students will gain by reflecting on their personal leadership goals and aspirations. We invite you to visit rhboyd.com for more activity ideas and to order or download additional VBS resources. Thank you for joining us again for RH Boys 2022 VBS Claim Your Crown. Remember, God has called us to walk boldly in our gifts and calling, serving as leaders in the world around us by serving as Christian leaders with grace, we can claim our crowns.